Hello and welcome to this Duncan Cartledge Online video presentation on NRM3 Explained. On completion of this video presentation, you will understand the rationale behind the introduction of NRM3, as well as being able to interpret NRM3 for the purpose of preparing estimates and cost plans for building maintenance work. Of course, NRM3 is part of a suite of documents that includes NRM1 and NRM2. NRM3 was the final part of the NRM suite to be published in 2016. I have released other videos looking at NRM1 and NRM2, but I have to say that I suspect NRM3 is the least used volume of the NRM suite. The purpose of NRM3 is similar to NRM1, except it does not deal with capital costs, but with annualized maintenance and repair costs, sometimes referred to as life cycle costs or LCC. However, the process follows the NRM1 route through the RIBA plan of work. Unlike the other volumes in the NRM suite, there is currently no hand or textbook explaining how to use NRM3, which I think is very significant. David Benge, the co-author of NRM3, has been promising a guide for some time, but the latest ETA is 2025, so don't hold your breath, although I can understand the reluctance. So, was NRM3 needed? I think the answer is probably yes, for no other reason than it raises awareness of life cycle costs and the fact that we must move away from producing buildings that don't just concentrate on initial capital costs. Unfortunately, over the years, life cycle costs have attracted a number of justified criticisms, including the lack of reliable cost data on which to base a calculation. In addition, factors concerning the installation and maintenance regime of components and equipment have largely been ignored, which is unfortunate, as they can greatly impact on the validity of any cost data. Whether NRM3 addresses these concerns is another matter. In an attempt to address some of these criticisms, it is suggested that an adjustment is applied to the perfect scenario of the service life of a component to allow for specific project conditions. Although it strikes me as a wee bit subjective, as demonstrated on the next slide. In this example taken from NRM3, the service life of Windows is reduced from 25 years, the perfect scenario, to 18 years, due to location and lack of cleaning. How robust these factors are is, I would suggest, open to speculation, although there are a number of sources where these indices can be found, including the BCIS. NRM3 splits life cycle costs into repairs, replacements or renewals, and annualized or reduced to an annual rate maintenance costs. Operating costs are always excluded as they are too unpredictable. For the full presentation, go to Duncan Cartledge Online.